Okay, so what you see here is the motor of the SMC stand fan under the Hampton Bay brand. So I checked inside the motor and I did find out that this is one of those recall models. And as you can see, it, you, you could pretty much see why. So it's mainly because of that. So the problem with this is that these were the cause of the, those fires years ago. And you, I don't know if I can tell, but th this is sharp on the edges. They're not filed down. And this thing is not snug. It's very loose. So I'm going to turn this on with the oscillation. You'll see that this is going to... So I just left the dirt on. That way you can see how the dirt moves. You see the wire moving. And that's what causes the chafing. The stretching. And it will eventually rip the wire here. The insulation. It will rip through the insulation of the cables and it will cause a spark and that is what caused all those recalls of these pedestal fans years ago and it, this is pretty much what gave SMC a bad reputation so here I will show you how to fix this problem that we don't have to live with the fear of this thing catching on fire so it's a very simple fix so just get your screwdriver as you may see here this is the piece that you need to work on. Just zoom in right there. Let me keep this out of the way as much as possible. So, let's just remove this. So this bends, you could just loosen it up. And then there's the screw right there. So just remove it. And it's a good thing that this thing is not very tight. Otherwise, we will have problems with this. And there you go. That's the piece that's been causing trouble with these SMC fans. That I don't know why they designed it that way, but we got it. I got it out, thankfully. So I don't got to worry about this catching a fire. So now I'm going to move to the gearbox. And this will place the power cord right here away from whatever any of these parts of the motor that were probably not burned down properly. So I'm going to need to move this screw out of the way and I might probably get a new one in. So that's out of the way now. And I got a set of plastic cable locks right here. And what I will do is put one of these in. That way you won't have to worry about fire risk okay so here I got the screw this is a machine screw this thing will just unblur so I, this is going to be the replacement screw because the original one is way too short but anyways let's keep going with this so just going to clip this on well actually this one might be a bit loose but I guess that's okay or actually, actually, no, this is actually quite good. So now I just put the screw in here. And now screw that part right in. I do have several sides, several of these, so in case this doesn't fit properly, I could just use. Okay, so yeah, I might need to use other ones. But it does the job. So here I got another one. This one came from a comfort zone fan. This one is much smaller, which will give it a tighter grip to the power cable. And there you see, I'm putting it back in now. And there you go, it's a very tight fit now.
So now I'm going to power it on and you'll see the improvement. As you can see, the power cord is not moving anymore. And this is much, much safer now. So now I'll just shut it off. So there you have it. That's exactly how to reduce the SMC fire risk. And now I could just expose this. But thanks for watching.